Hi guys, welcome back to Completely Karen. Thank you so much for stopping by. As you know, it is Thursday Reviews. Every Thursday I do a review of a movie, a book, a restaurant, something else that I think is really amazing that you guys need to know about. And so today it is going to be a review of the movie Arrival, which just came out into theaters, just maybe even this weekend, I'm not even sure. Anyway, it's got Amy Adams and Jeremy Renner, and um, it's basically about some aliens that come down, and she is a communication specialist, a language specialist, and she has to figure out their language so that we can communicate with them and, and figure out why they're here. Um, so that's basically the rundown of the movie. Um, and I really liked it. I thought it was a great movie. It's a little tiny bit slow. I mean, if you're thinking that it's going to be some kind of action-packed alien adventure, it is not that movie at all. What it is, is a movie that will get your mind thinking and jumping in these directions of where your life is headed and where your life is going and where your life has been and things that you've experienced and things that you will experience. And it just kind of is this cyclical story that's really great and if you like those kind of movies and you like movies that make you think and ponder and kind of question things in your life then go see it because it was really great in that way um so we might move into a few spoilers maybe if you don't want to know go watch the movie first come back and watch my review later and leave a comment below of what you thought um otherwise stick around and i may or may not give away a few spoilers. I don't know if it'll make that big of a difference. I guess maybe it will a little bit. Um, so basically you find out, the movie starts out where Amy Adams um, has a daughter. She's raising her daughter uh, as a young teenager, it seems. Her daughter develops some sort of disease and dies. This is the very like first couple of minutes of the movie. Um, and then the aliens come and she has to figure out their language and communicate with them. Um, and as the movie progresses, you realize that what we saw at the beginning of the movie had not happened yet. And the aliens coming was happening before. And as she learns to communicate in their language, it changes her paradigm. It changes how she is and who she is. And she realizes that she is seeing the future and she's seeing the past all at the same time because to the aliens, time is not a thing. Their time is not linear the way we think of time. Um, and it's really interesting and it, it gets your mind really thinking. And I, that's what I really loved about it. Um, at one point, kind of at the end of the movie, she asked Jeremy Renner, if you knew how your life was going to turn out, would you change it? And I kind of sat there and asked myself that question and I kind of got teary eyed because, you, you know, I've said this before in previous videos, my life right now is so um, different than I thought it was going to be. You know, I never really saw myself, you would have asked me 20 years ago that if I was going to be a divorced, almost 39 year old mother of two, I would have been like, no way that's never going to happen, you know? Um, and so I, I'm in this place where I, I, I wasn't expecting to be. My life is very different and I'm figuring things out about myself that I didn't know I had inside of me and I'm becoming really independent and I really like that about myself. And so I kind of asked myself that question, like, do I look back hindsight on the things that have happened in my life and do I regret those choices or do I look at those choices as mistakes and I had to answer the, I had to say no because I feel like everything that has happened in my life all the choices that I've made have shaped me and molded me into who I am today and if I could go back and change some of those things I wouldn't be the same person I wouldn't be realizing all these great things about myself and I wouldn't be realizing what I'm capable of and I feel like everyone needs to do that for themselves everyone needs to look at the choices of their past good or bad right or wrong and recognize that it has shaped you into who you are 
and you can look at that and be completely honest with yourself and love yourself for those things and if you're on a path where you feel like it's not where you want to be make a choice to go a different direction you are in control you have the choices to make you can decide life is all about choices i've been reading this book east of eden uh, by john steinbeck and it's incredible if you've never read it read it it's so great such a classic and that book is all about choices and recognizing that we can choose it's who we are it's in our makeup and I, i really felt that in this movie too like we can choose And we can be okay with our choices no matter what they are because they shape who we are. They shape us. So I'm giving this movie a thumbs up for sure. I really loved it. thought it was great. And I I feel like I'm going to, the more I think about it, the more really great things are going to come out of it for me. So go see it. I loved it. Leave me a comment below and let me know what you thought. Maybe you hated it. It's okay. You don't have to agree with me on everything. That's all right. Or if you loved it, tell me why you loved it. Um, Thank you so much for stopping by.